Heavy rain overnight left behind a mess in some parts of the Houston area. Channel 2's Jonathan Martinez is live in East Houston with one homeowner who woke up with water inside of his house. Jonathan? Yeah, guys, certainly not the way you want to start off the new year by cleaning out your home following the flood waters, but that's exactly what this homeowner tells us he's having to deal with. We did speak with some nearby neighbors who tell us it does flood in this area. Generally, it comes into their yards, seldomly into their home. Nothing like what this homeowner is having to deal with. It was a mess of a morning for Adolph Garcia, who woke up with water inside his home following the overnight rain. Every time it rains heavily or big storm, I have water in my house. One or two, three inches, sometimes more. Garcia says making matters worse, this is the ninth time his home has flooded in the last 12 years that he's lived here. I now live with patio furniture in my home. I don't have a real furniture like post furniture because I, I can't depend on the furniture not being damaged anymore. Garcia says he's grown frustrated with trying to get the matter fixed and has contacted city and county leaders. He says although some work crews have been out to work on a nearby ditch in the past. It's only a matter of time before his home is underwater again. My house floods because the drainage for the rainwater over here and the whole neighborhood comes to my location. For now, Garcia says he gets anxious anytime there's rain in the forecast, but he also plans to keep reaching out to city and county leaders until the issue is resolved. I'm always worried that I come home and my home is underwater. When it rains, I have to think I'm, what I'm going to have to pick up or get rid of, basically, because I don't have that. And we did reach out to both the city and county about the flood issue in this community this evening, but so far we have not heard back. For now, we are reporting live from the city's east side. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.